Hey guys, and I'm back. So sorry to cut that last tutorial short and pretty abrupt about running out of YouTube time and there was actually a bit to explain for the enemy killing off. So yeah, whenever I'm rushing a tutorial I usually make mistakes as well, so let's just fix up a few of those. Um, couldn't even spell collection right, so in our add enemy, let's fix that up. And check enemies off screen. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. So what you can do in Flash Develop is instead of just going in, retyping the word and retyping the function name here as well, if you right click on a function name and go refactor rename, you can rename all the functions or all the words that you've currently got highlighted in your whole document. So I'm going to type check enemies off screen properly here and it's going to fix it up in the two instances that we have here. So handy little tip for Flash develops. So um, what I wanted to explain a bit more in detail was this if statement. So what we're doing here is we're going to be testing if our enemy is moving right, sorry, is moving left, and it's gone past uh, current enemy has gone past the left side of the stage. Then we want to remove it from the array and remove the enemy from the stage. So what we need to do now is set up a destroy enemy function just like we did for our missile. So if you remember back in our MC missile file, we set up a public function which was destroy missile and we remove it from its parent object which is the stage and we remove the event listener. So we need to go into MC enemy and set up a similar function to that. So right down the bottom of MC enemy, just before my random number, I'm going to make a public function called destroy enemy. It's not going to return anything, so I'll leave it as a void. And we need to do two things just like we did for the missile. We need to remove this enemy from the stage. And we need to remove any event listeners in our enemy object. So remove the enemy from the stage, we can target its parent, so whatever it's attached to, and then say remove child and this object. And we're going to remove event listener enter frame, which is our enemy that's looping, or our enemy loop function. Cool, so we've got our public destroy enemy function all set up and good to go now. Let's save that. And back in our first game, we can remove the enemy from the stage by targeting our current enemy and now saying destroy enemy. So this is going to fix it for when our enemy is moving left. So it starts on the right, moves towards the left. As soon as it gets off the stage on the left hand side, it's going to remove itself. So now let's fix it up for the right. So I'm going to say else, and then if our current enemy, its direction is now moving right, and our current enemy's x position is now greater than, and let's show this visually. So if our current enemy is moving right across the stage, and it's greater than our stage dot stage width plus half of our enemies width. Now it's off the screen. Let's get rid of it. So if our current enemy's x position is greater than our stage dot stage width plus our current enemy's width divided by two. And let's bracket that up. and bracket off the if as well. So if it does all that, then let's remove it off the stage as well, or get rid of our enemy. 
So yeah, we could copy this and put it into a little smaller function and call it like kill off enemy or something, but I'm just going to copy the code again. Uh, we'll go back over an optimization tutorial after our full game's finished and there'll be a few things that we can clean up to make our game run a bit faster and smoother. But for the moment, we'll just put this in. So, uh, we're getting enemies to destroy themselves if they go off the left of the stage or if they go off the right. So let's test this now. So enemies going off the right, left, and you can see in the counter here, this is how many enemies we have on screen. So at the moment we're not really getting above maybe four or five enemies on screen. Even the slow ones that straggle along. So it's not always incrementing. As soon as they get off the stage, our enemies destroy themselves. So it's a little bit more optimized. So I think that's about it for the enemy section. Um, what we need to do next is obviously get our missiles colliding with our enemies. So that's going to be a reasonably big tutorial. And it's going to cover a double for loop as well, which I know we haven't really done yet, but you know, best way to learn is throw you in the deep end. So yeah, I think that'll pretty much be it for this tutorial. Uh, enemies are all done. Let's get, yeah, collisions happening next. So stay tuned for that.